Alrighty then, it is a Friday and welcome back again guys to the daily dose and today I'm give I'm gonna give you a dose of what's new uh, from Hot Wheels. So before we proceed, let us say thank you uh, to the guys here at Japanese Nostalgic Car, Dan Su, of course, who took some of these wonderful photos here, MOD, Ministry of Diecast, T-Hunted Blog, uh, Salao Diecast, and MG Minis for all uh, their wonderful work and their uh, social media pages for updates and pictures. Again, guys, please follow them on their social media pages. So thank you for these photos once again. And uh, yeah, we're going to start off now with what's new for Hot Wheels. So first up, check this one out. This is an upcoming uh, RLC 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. So this will be uh, for next year, 2020. Now I think this is the one I pre-ordered. So a couple of months ago, I talked about uh, I ordered uh, an RLC gasser. So on the pre-order, uh, this was the picture that came out. So I ordered it from a, an online seller here. ETA will, will be on March to April of next year. So I think this is the car, right? Yes, it is. It has the blonde, the... Uh, word right there on the side this is gold so yeah that is it exactly what it is and i'm really happy i paid now i will be paying uh 2000 plus pesos for this one so that's more uh more than 40 dollars so i think uh, i don't know is it expensive or not? <laughs> yeah, i think it is expensive but yeah i don't care i like this one and I'm really happy check out the art on the card looks fabulous and of course the most most important thing is the car it looks uh, mighty fine as well it looks really rad check out the car next uh, we have here the uh, closer pictures of the Japan Historic 3 so photos here from Dan Su. he did a wonderful job with uh, the photos of each cars so first we have here the clear i mean really clear pics of the uh, uh honda city turbo 2 this is an orange so you can see here the uh city turbo 2 sticker on the windshield number 11 right there not really liking the rims of this one so turbo 2 on the lower part of the bumper you can see right there on the windshield the city turbo 2 sticker and uh, yeah details up front complete det details uh, on the front headlights here detailed I love the black accent right there details too on the uh, lights Pretty, pretty good car here uh, on the back detailed tail lights Honda logo right there uh, Honda City Turbo 2 also uh, details uh, right there uh, no details though on the plate number which is the only thing lacking on this car but overall great car here and next we have this is a, here the Nissan Silvia this one I really really like this car here and look at the tires it is wide really wide and thick too love the rims love the color of this car and again really really great car here Hot Wheels has done an amazing job with this casting and with uh, what they've done with the colors here So details uh, on the back of the car You can see the tiny Sylvia word right there on the uh, Upper right part of the car details on the tail light yeah. Even the tiny details 
uh, are uh, on this car. So chrome bumpers, chrome headlights, and check out the rims. Chrome rims too. Love this set of tires for the Sylvia. Even the signal lights are detailed. Next up here we have the Skyline R30. Now I said in a couple of videos ago that this reminds me of the uh, Tomica Premium but this one I think looks way better than the Tomica Premium uh, Skyline R30. So this one though has this same uh, colorway or color scheme as of the uh, Tomica Premium R30 and even the uh, mainline uh, Skyline R30 for uh, Hot Wheels. But this one has of course rubber tires. I think the rims uh, looks a little bit off. You can see here uh, the rims. I don't know. It w looks way off. But uh, is it supposed to be that way? <laughs> Kindly comment down below, guys. If uh, it is meant to be that way in, uh, I mean, in 164 scale or even in real life. But overall, great looking car. No details though on the taillight and uh, on the front here. None whatsoever. Only at the side. It says RS Turbo. Uh, at the back of the car, back of the car though, it is detailed. You can see the taillights are detailed. No details on the plate holder. This spoiler is painted black. But that's it. RS Turbo, but yeah, still looks better uh, for me compared to the Tomica, Tomica Premium. Next here, this is my favorite of this set actually. This is the uh, the Datsun pickup. And I love this one. Really, really love this one in yellow. Love the rims. It is perfect. Everything is perfect uh, for this car. I. I mean the uh, front has no details but it looks okay base is chrome yeah really really clean looking pickup love the fenders here love the tires it is um, the tires are wide because of the fenders here The tail lights are uh, detailed. And yeah, really love the stance. It is, I mean, this pickup has a low stance. A lot of low rider pickups coming soon from Hot Wheels uh, for next year. Next here we have the Mazda Cosmo. This is kind of uh, unique casting. I have not seen a lot of Mazda Cosmo casting to be honest. So this one is in white. It is really clean looking. What I don't like about this one here. Check out the uh, details on the tail light. I don't know why this is this is uh, how it looks. Maybe because of the light. But if this is how it is painted, then it's a bit off. Hopefully, this is just because of the reflection of the light. But if it is uh, just the reflection, then this one really is a fantastic car. Love the rims here. I mean, I love the uh, the uh, shape of the car. Check the one out. Check out the details. Yeah, fabulous car here. So those are the cars from the uh, Japan Historics 3 uh, with their really clear pictures. And next up here, some more new 2020 main lines. So yeah, we'll be checking out some of the cars. Still don't know what cases they will be. So first, we have here the Zamac uh, 64 Chevy Nova wagon. Really love this casting. I really love wagons. And this one is in Zamac. And of course, the trademark flames for the uh, Chevy Nova wagon. I really love 
how they do the uh, flames of these wagons in all cases so this will be part of the Hot Wheels flame series next the BMW K1300R this time it is in black and silver this will be uh, out for the factory fresh series so next up here uh, this is the 2019 Corvette ZR1 convertible in uh, orange I don't know this one looks just the same as the uh, previous ZR1 convertible this is from the factory fresh series again really clean looking a street car here so yeah fantastic car next up I'm really happy that uh, the Toyota 2000 GT is back so we have uh, I mean this will be a part of the uh, Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 series so this is the second car uh, rumored to be out so the first one was the one uh, was the skateboard uh, I remember and now we have here the Toyota 2000 GT I'm really happy that again this is now back i have uh i mean a couple of tomica 2000 gts for hot wheels i forgot how many i had but they were all destroyed by my son so yeah really happy really happy with this color too and look at the tempo right there tokyo 2020 great looking car great looking card next we have here the audi rs5 coupe this is part of the hot wheels turbo series so the hot wheels turbo series has five cars all in all this is the second one and uh, yeah this one looks good in black the previous one uh was in red this one has five spoke rims i don't know if they had the same rims but yeah this one looks good I mean all uh, Audis I mean all Audis that Hot Wheels has released I mean to be honest they all look good I haven't I mean uh, I haven't seen bad Audis from Hot Wheels in the recent years but this one here again a good looking Audi next here we have a bone shaker this is in green not really liking the rims here and the uh, blue tires love the deco love the chromes but don't like the rims and tires next fast p lion <laughs> and is that how you pronounce it this will be uh included in the olympic games Tokyo 2020 series also oh, three cars now for the Tokyo 2020 series first we have the skateboard then the uh, Toyota 2000 GT and this one here and this is a track star so this one will perform really well in uh, on the track next this one here really looks good so I think a lot of uh, movie collectors out there will be getting this one this is from the party i mean hot wheels screen time series this is the party wagon love the art card here featuring the wagon and the ninja turtles right there of course my favorite is Raphael, because that's the name of my son yeah look this one looks good Plain yellow, not a lot of decos here. Reminds me a little bit of the combi. Anyways, still a fabulous car here, especially the art. If you collect uh, carded art uh, Hot Wheels, yeah, you will love this one. Yeah, so that is all for our latest Hot Wheels news. And I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to uh, smash the like button. Comment down below what your favorite cars are uh, in this video. 
and again thank you guys for watching thank you again for the pictures japanese nostalgic car dansu mod ministry of diecast t the blog it's a loud diecast and mg minis thank you so much guys bye bye peace out and enjoy the rest of the day see you soon on the next videos to come